Habari hii inatokea jijini Arusha na ripoti ni mwandishi msomi inaitwa Korumba le Babas. Taasisi ya vijana wana diplomasia nchini Youth Diplomatic Icon imefanya mkutano wake wa mwaka jijini Arusha kwa kukutanisha vijana kutoka mikoa tofauti tofauti nchini huku mgeni rasmi akiwa ni mkuu wa wilaya ya Arusha Mheshimiwa Said Mtanda alioeleza vijana hao kuwa wana diplomasia ni watu wa muhimu kwenye dunia kwa ajili ya kutatua migogoro na wanapaswa kuwa na elimu uzoefu na kuwa familia na mambo mbalimbali ili uwe mwana diplomasia mzuri lazima uwe na sifa kadhaa lakini sifa ya kwanza you must be educated kwa sababu diplomasia inakutaka e, level of intelligence intellect iwe kubwa kwa sababu uta interact na uta engage katika diplomatic communications kwa hivyo e, lazima uwe educated kwenye education sasa ndio utajua kwamba jambo hili limetokea je kidiplomasia nilishughulikie kwa namna gani na katika education nitakufanya wewe kuwa na uwezo wa kufanya communication si mnakumbuka kwenye shule tunafundishwa barriers of communication si ndiwe sasa kwa mfano wewe ni mwana diplomasia una engage katika conflict fulani halafu unakwenda kule kama uwezi ku avoid barriers of communication uwezi ku interact na ku engage katika katika conflict management au resolution sasa lakini kitu kingine e, ni lazima mwana diplomasia awe pia mvumilivu eh sasa yote haya yanajengwa na msingi wa education lakini point ya pili mwana diplomasia au kiongozi yoyote mimi ninaamini by apart from having education ili aweze kukabiliana na levels of understanding of different situations eh? na elimu mimi naamini kazi yake kwa mfano mwanafunzi wa darasa la saba akieleza what is biology na mwanafunzi wa form 4 akiulizwa the same question what is biology na mwanafunzi wa first degree Ak- the same question what is biology mwanafunzi mwenye masters what is biology Je, ukisaisha karatasi zao zitakuwa na majibu yanayofanana? Sasa levels of education kazi yake kubwa ni kuongeza ku broaden knowledge, ku expand concept. Kwa hiyo unavoeleza wewe na utakavoeleza darasa la saba ni vitu viwili tofauti. Lakini swala ni lile lile. Hii ndio maana ya kuwa na degree, kuwa na masters, kuwa na PhD, hii eh, lakini point ya pili after education huwa na emphasize katika uh, experience you need to have experience eh? mimi nimeeleza machache hii ni experience ndogo nilionayo lakini nyinyi sasa maana yake sasa hivi you are youth ndio maana we talk on youth diplomatic icon tunakuandaeni nyinyi hmm? ili kuwa more experienced as time went on you move eh, kutoka kwenye eh, umri ule wa ujana mnavozidi kuendelea miaka kumi ijayo atasimama miongoni mwenu ataeleza kwamba according to my experience nilianza kuingeji katika masuala ya diplomatic relations masuala ya diplomacy nikiwa na umri wa miaka kwa mfano wewe una miaka mingapi eh, nikiwa na umri wa miaka ishirini I am now 40 years old. Kwa hiyo experience yangu katika diplomasia ni kwamba ni lazima tuwajenge vijana wadogo waweze kuwa experts katika diplomacy. Kwa sababu diplomacy inapelekea jamii kuishi kwa amani. Diplomasia ndiyo njia nzuri zaidi ya kutatua migogoro. Eh baadaye sasa ukiingia deep huko ndio unaona eh mnafundishwa sasa mambo ya preventive diplomacy sio masuala ya nini sasa mimi sitaki kuingia darasa kwa sababu I'm not a teacher I am a politician vijana <laughs> wewe kwa hiyo experience ni kitu muhimu sana kwa mwana diplomasia eh, lakini cha tatu eh, ni exposure mm. sasa if you are not exposed maana yake hata interaction yako itakuwa minimal interaction exposure there is internal exposure and external exposure internally some came from dodoma to arusha yeah, you are exposed 
Because uh, when you compare Dodoma with Arusha, it's two different cities, yeah? Like if there are some people who came from Mwanza, Shinyanga, Kigoma, I came from Lindi. So when you are from Lindi to Dar es Salaam, for instance, something will creak up to your head because they are two different areas. Kwa hiyo, unakuwa exposed. Aitwa James Mwagumba, mkurugenzi wa taasisi ya Universidad de Jana nchini. Au anajulikana kama Youth Diplomatic Icon, the Young Diplomats. Leo tuko hapa kwenye mkutano wa mwaka wa wanachama wa wanadiplomasia vijana ambao tunajaribu kujifunza na kuwalea kwa ajili ya kukua katika masuala ya diplomasia waweze kufahamu fursa mbalimbali ambazo zinatokana na mataifa mbalimbali kibiashara, kisiasa, kijamii pia kwa hiyo waweze kuwa na uwezo ambao wana uwezo kutumia kwa ajili ya kufanya taifa. Lengo kubwa la mkutano huu ni kuendelea kujijenga ndani kukuza hamasa kwa vijana waweze kuelewa nyanja za kidiplomasia zaidi na waweze kulitumikia taifa lao katika ustadi mzuri hasa kwenye integration ya mwangiliano na mataifa mbalimbali ili wao na uelewa sahihi wawe na ufahamu sahihi na wao na mbinu sahihi pia za kiushindani kilinganisha kwa mataifa sahihi ya mashindano sana kwa na si tunaamua kujijenga na kujifunza na kukuza uwezo wa ndani kwa ajili ya kukuza kizazi kipya kwa ajili ya ya uelewa madhubuti wa mahusiano ya kimataifa na diplomasia hasa diplomasia ya uchumi ili kuleta maendeleo katika taifa letu na ndio maana vision yetu tunasema ni organization uh, inayo develop viongozi wajao katika nyanja ya kidiplomasia na swala ya sera na uchechemuzi uh, it's an organization for developing future generation of leaders in diplomacy policy and advocacy kwa hiyo hiyo ndio maono yetu maono ya taasisi hii ya wana diplomasia vijana hapa nchini na leo tumakusanya vijana kutoka mikoa mbalimbali wako vijana kutoka Dar es Salaam kutoka Dodoma mpaka Arusha na Manyara pamoja na Kilimanjaro nani lakini pia tuna wengine ambao wanaweza kufika wata wana wamejumuika wa katika platform za online kutoka Mbeya na mikoa mingine mbalimbali. Kwa hiyo lengo kubwa ni kujadili na kutengeneza mbinu mkakati ya kukuza uh, diplomasia ya uchumi lakini pia vijana wawe na uwezo na ujasiri na mbinu pia ya kushindana kimataifa waweze kuwa na na, 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 na ujasiri wa kusafiri pia kwa nje kuchungulia fursa za biashara na kuleta maendeleo katika taifa letu lakini pia kingine tunawakuza katika masuala ya uzalendo patriotism tunawafundisha kuhusiana na uzalendo ili waweze kupenda taifa lao walitumikia taifa lao hawana taifa nyingine ni hili peke yake kwa sababu hiyo wao kama viongozi wajao wanapaswa wafahamu fika kwamba hawana nchi nyingine zaidi ya Tanzania lakini pia wanalo jukumu ya kulitumikia taifa la Tanzania kwa nguvu zao zote akili zao zote na maarifa yao yote kuwaletea wa Tanzania manufaa lakini pia wana hekima stahiki katika masuala yote ya ya kisiasa kidiplomasia hata kidemokrasia pia kwa hiyo hicho ndicho kikubwa ambacho kimetukusanya hapa siku ya leo ili vijana waweze kujifunza, tuweze kujadili na pia tutatengeneza mpango mkakati wa miaka mitano ijayo kwa ajili ya kuona ni fursa zipi ambazo uh, taifa kama taifa tunaweza kuziangalia zaidi na kuzitekeleza katika taifa letu kupitia vijana hawa chukizi kabisa katika nyanja za kidiplomasia. Majina naitwa Grace Mary Mbunga and I'm a student of CFR Center for Foreign Relations in Dar es Salaam and I'm here today for a great event and uh, well it's it, it's actually um, youth diplomatic icon and Fursa to Kiongera so la Fursa there's so many opportunities in youth uh, in young diplomatic icon and well 
so many, I, I'm, I'm a student and I've been studying international relations in diplomacy and I witnessed that so many students really do, do, don't really know exact meaning of international relations in diplomacy and they are so much focused on minor things and not on the larger part of diplomacy. So. In diplomacy, we have so many opportunities. Like, you, you you can actually have a chance to meet and actually work in so many international organizations. You can actually be able to work in various countries. As in, you, you don't have to work in foreign relations or foreign affairs in Tanzania. You can actually even go to um, Sudan. There are so many places that and uh, actually need people from. Uh, who are taking diplomacy and international relations. So, do I actually have... Unafikiri ni changamoto gani ya mbazo zinawafanya sasa vijeno yazi kuifikiri kutofikiri ya hii sekta ya diplomasi kwa upana? Unafikiri ni kwa nini? Changamoto is just uh, the understanding of diplomacy uh, as a wide area, a range. Kwa sababu, if you really know what diplomacy really is, um, you would know that you're not supposed to actually stick on being a product officer or just being a student who wants to go to, yeah, doing protocol per se. Because uh, in, in my class, so many people think that after I study international relations, I will just go be a protocol officer. That is what people think. But it's not just being a protocol officer because that is a very minor thing. And the challenge is many people don't actually not in the school because they wanted, they chose to be there. And it's a calling. Being a diplomat is also a calling. You need to first want to do that. You need to actually want to be in that position for you to be able to, to do exactly uh, what is supposed to be done. Well, the challenge is that people are not there because they chose to be there. They are there because someone else chose for them to be there. Uh, this is where we have young diplomatic icon. Uh, institute like young, uh, young diplomatic icon is one of the uh, of the Tarsisi ambazo zinaweza kusaidia kuinua vijana to enlighten them on exactly what should be done. Kuafundisha, kuwaelekeza, to nurture them to become the people who uh, that they are supposed to become. Jiamini leo chekecha mkwanja na ushinde hadi shilingi milioni moja Nani ya siku tisini kwa kujibu maswali rahisi kupiti ya simu yako Chekecha shilingi laki moja kwa ushindi watatu kila wiki Na shilingi alfu kumi kwa ushindi watatu wenye points nyingi kila siku Jiunge na huduma ya chekecha mkwanja kwa karama ya shilingi miya tatu tu kwa siku Kujiunga tumeneno chekecha kwena namba moja tano tisa moja ne Jibu maswali na ushinde Vigezo na masharti kuzingatiwa. Vodacom pamoja tunaweza